<laughs> just, just came in there at the end, it's okay. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Kenroy here. Now today I'm joined by Sophia. Now today she'll be helping me with this DIY project which we have in the garden at the moment. Now as you know, we bought this house a few years ago and as such we have painstakingly started the process of renovating our garden so that it can be a space where we can all be proud of. But of course you know that we're always trying to do things on a budget which means that we'll be doing a lot of it on our own. So if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be notified on all our new content and keep your comments flowing because we love to hear from you. So in today's video, Sophia and I will actually be getting the flower pots ready to which we're gonna to use to actually decorate the fence. But we'll also be getting ourselves stuck in and we'll actually be sanding down this fence. Now as you see in a few moments, this fence wasn't in the best of condition and in order for us to save as much as we can, we decided to do a lot of the renovation and sanding it down and painting it ourselves. So in today's video, we'll be doing the first part which is actually sanding down and getting the flower pots ready before hopefully in part two, um, we'll be showing you what it's like to actually paint the fence and what it will look like in the end. So like I was saying earlier on, one of the things that I'm absolutely enjoying is, you know, spending time in the garden, planting vegetables, especially with the kids. There's some of Naomi's peas that she's planted, um, which, you know, are really, really coming up now. And it's chucking it down. Got some strawberries as well. I think that's, um, what's that? That's cucumber, I think. And more strawberries. So we're actually going to be sanding down in the weeks to come. Well, as soon as we have time anyway. Um, this fence here, uh, which is the fence that separates us with one of our neighbors. So Sophia and I are going to sand this down and repaint it um, in a similar color to that one over there. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing, hopefully in the near future. And then we'll basically put the hanging baskets all along on that fence to add a bit more color. Yeah, so this is my first time getting the gloves on and really getting stuck in and I must say I had a really good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so we started potting the flower pots with flowers. Um, what what were the name of the flowers? Do you remember? I have, I have no idea. Yeah, we don't remember, but they were very <laughs> colourful and vibrant. <laughs> and so we wanted to add that touch of finesse to our garden and as we... Um, you know, we're planning to sand down the fences. I suppose because the trees were like directly on the other side of it for so many years, um, you know, when it rained and so on, it was always damp. And so a lot of moss grew on these fences. Mm. So it looked, it didn't look really mm. nice. So it's nice to be able to, to rub those back yeah, and no. get it back to board. Because you would look at them and think you'd have to totally replace yeah. the, the panels. But I was really, really surprised that, you know, when you sh showed me, you know, sort of what could be done. I was like, oh, so it is possible and doable. Absolutely. And it's amazing once you put a bit of elbow grease, <laughs> as they say, mm -hmm. into what you do, what, you know, you can transform. And so you will see, yeah. you know, over the, the two part series of our project, how it totally transforms and adds a lot of value to our garden, makes it a really lovely, cozy space yeah. for our family. Um, and yes, just keep watching. And in regards to how much this project actually cost, it actually didn't cost us a lot because we were actually gifted um, the tin of yeah. um, paint, which we used to paint this fence from a a generous neighbor and that's because you helped her with her yeah. garden as well so. absolutely so <laughs> it pays to work. help it really really does yeah. pay to have good neighbors and you know just help people when you can because you know you never know when you might be getting help without even realizing yeah. so apart from the paint which normally costs around 10 pounds for for the tub um, what else do we need we bought a few flowers mm. um, we had some compost which was left over for the pots you had and brushes already? Yeah, yeah, I had paint brushes already. Um, we were considering using a spray paint gun, but um, on this occasion, uh, you know, we decided to do the traditional um, mm -hmm. way of just painting them normally, and I'm glad we did. Did you give Naomi any pocket money? Um, next time. <laughs> <laughs> she got stuck in as well, so it was a real family affair. <laughs> yeah, it really was. And the thing is, I think that it's good when you actually learn to do these things, mm -hmm. because like I said, if, I, if we had paid someone to come actually do this, it would be like a day's work for that mm -hmm. person, costing over a hundred pounds, yeah. no doubt. Um, but the fact that we were able to do it ourselves, you know, gave us a really good yeah, satisfaction. No, 
and bonded um, time although he took a lot of jokes out of me <laughs> <laughs> well I, to be honest it's nice to actually see you in the garden you know getting stuck yeah. in in the soil <laughs> with the sander yeah I'd definitely do it again it's not my always been my go-to to be out there but no I've really really been enjoying it yeah. and I just want to thank you all for your continued love and support your comments it's so good to hear your views and you know we really really do appreciate it okay guys enough from us so let's get straight into this video remember this is the first of a two-part series and I hope that you can get some inspiration from this and see how easy it is to transform a simple old garden fence into something new and spectacular so I hope you enjoy <laughs> it's about time we get you in the it's garden. It's amazing how many women you know who do gardening, but their husbands do so much more gardening than they. I don't know, maybe. I think most women don't like getting their hands dirty. Mm. You reckon? I don't know. Because you don't mind it. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I guess whenever I think I've got a bit of free time, I never think, let's do some gardening. <laughs> <laughs> when to plant plants? Um, when it's warm enough. Yeah. <laughs> some plants you can actually plant them a bit earlier. It normally says on like the label that comes with each one. One of our neighbours actually gave this to me. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these but they do look nice yeah. when they're in full bloom. So fresh! Ah! My first time removing one of these things. You'll be alright. <laughs> you better not kill it, you know. Uh, I definitely don't have green fingers. <laughs> oh, I was thinking it was a lot smaller but it's the whole thing here. Some of the roots came apart. Not bad. First attempt? Yeah. Good, you know? <laughs> Will it grow? Good. Yeah, it'll be fine. Mm. It's meant to be some form of plant food, so I normally just sprinkle some in the in the actual flower pots. Way! All intact. Well done. It's coming home, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See? If first you don't succeed, try and try again. <laughs> <laughs> We're out getting a bit of a workout today as well. Organically working out. But am I getting some nutrients from this? I'm sure you are. Who knows, you might start growing. <laughs> Do let us know what type of plants you guys are planting. So since having these trees cut down behind me, we now have this fence that really, really could do with a coat of paint. So today, Safari and I, we're going to actually be sanding these fence panels down. Um, and at a later date, hopefully when we get some more sunshine, we will hope to paint them so that it can match the colour scheme that we've already got in the garden. So I've got my trusty sander out, which I recently used for my previous video when we're actually getting those scaffold boards done um, in order to make some shelves. So today, we're going to be sanding down these um, fence panels and like I said, hopefully in the near future, we'll get to paint them. Abby! Are you hiding? You locked me up. <laughs> Are 
<laughs> now I don't know how well you can actually see this but I'm hoping that you can actually see where I've sanded down some of the boards now there's no way I'm gonna get these you know you know looking as good as they were brand new however I wanted to get as much of this green stuff off as possible so that when we do paint it with the fence paint it will actually stick and hopefully give us a better finish so I haven't done actually the bit at the top so just to show you a comparison up close this is what it looks like with um, the sanding done and this is what it looks like before it actually gets sanded in. So if you can actually see, uh, there's lots of bit of green moss growing on the outside of the board. It's not in any great shape at all. So this fencing is between my neighbor and myself and we won't be taking these fences down anytime soon. Not only will it be expensive to replace, but I think there's still some good years left in these fence panels. So I think the best thing to do is to give them a quick rub down and hopefully once they're painted, they will look good. So uh, yeah, I've also got this section over here, which is a bit shorter. So I think I'll have to end up um, giving these ones a rub down as well. Uh, this panel here seems to be in a bit of a dodgy situation as, as you can see one of the actual slats has just fallen through um, on our second neighbor's um, side. So I might have to try and um, fix that as well. But the idea is to try and paint all of these panels so that they will have much nicer color similar to the ones over there which i recently um, erected so yeah let's see how we get on So it's as easy as that. All you need to do is just have a bit of time and patience. And what that's actually going to do is allow um, the paint to actually seep into the wood a lot better. And I'm hoping that it will give me a lot better coverage and color. Good job. So I'm now covered in dust, but all of the woodwork is now sanded down. So all that is left is for me to give it a good wash down with the hose, let it dry. And in a day or two, hopefully we can get it painted. So I just used the hose to actually give these panels a good wash down and it's actually made them come up a lot cleaner. I was able to turn up the pressure on the hose which really really did a great job and actually got a lot more of that green stuff off which is really really good. Yeah the next time I've got some free time I'll probably start painting them. I'll get Saf to give me a hand so we can get it done quicker. Overall really loving the way they look so far. So there you have it guys, the first part of our two-part series. There, I know you would have seen me, <laughs> you know, getting, becoming one with nature. <laughs> As I was just figuring out how to get the flowers out of the flower pot. Oh, that was totally hilarious. But I must say, no, it, was, it felt really good to be out there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's free exercise, getting your fitness on, it's amazing. And it even started raining and I didn't, it didn't really matter much to me. And you know, when we for the first time using an electric sander is it called yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> an electric sander and it then revealed like the good quality of, of the wood of yeah. the fence panels mm -hmm. I was like oh we don't need to, to paint it anymore <laughs> but no we knew that it could even you know even look even more beautiful yeah. so um, no I want to thank you so much for, yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> for getting it, me involved it was a real pleasure having you you know come out and get stuck in to sort of see some of the things that yeah. I normally do you sort of sit you know stand by and watch it was actually nice to get you involved so now i can say to you go and sand the fences down and no 
Um, you do it, we do it together. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, but no, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. But yeah, in all seriousness, <laughs> all seriousness, you know, the kids were I there. I must say, initially when I first saw you using the sander, I thought, oh, you have to have a certain amount of, of pressure on it or else it would just go over it through the wood. But it didn't happen, no, it was, yeah. yeah You're it's a natural. Really, I am, aren't I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's what we're gonna stick by that one. But um, you know, it was great. The kids were so excited to see what we were doing, mm -hmm. um, you know, and they couldn't wait for the project to be finished. And I think that is important um, that no matter if you're male or female, that you have mm -hmm. this sense of do it yourself uh, mentality because you know our children need to see that, or else they'll grow up and think that if something's broken mm -hmm. or needs repairing. Just replace it. Just replace than, it. Yeah. Chuck it. Or, or get someone else. Get if someone you can else. Do it yourself. Yeah. Um, and we've seen our family members now doing things on their own. Absolutely. So you're definitely, you know, a positive influence. Well, yeah. you know, and that's what this channel is all about. Trying to encourage you to try and do the same at home. That's a wrap for today, guys. This is part one. It's a slightly longer video, so we decided to make it into two parts. So you know, tune in and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see part two, so that. You you can see what the finished product actually looks like and um, yeah we've got so much more to do um, in the garden but we're, we're getting ever closer um, to where we want to be and like I've always said as well that a garden project you know renovating your garden is a fantastic way mm. to improve the value of your property you know it's an investment at the end of the day and if it means that your family is also going to benefit from yeah. that um, it's it's a win-win, you know, so I'm encouraging you to do the same and you get a hobby out of it as well And for the couples out there time to bond and the family to Absolutely. experience yeah. the joy of working together Which is in this technical age, you know, we're all so isolated on our various devices But it's oh, good yeah. to get out there and get stuck in. Okay guys, that's a wrap for another day And thank you so much for all your support like we said Please if you've got any questions or anything to ask just put them in the comments down below and as always, this is Kenroy and Sophia saying, we'll see you when, when you, you see, see me. me. Take care. That was nice. Actually, what? <laughs>